Another term for trichoadenoma is trichoadenoma of Nikolovsky. The term trichoadenoma is rather misleading because a trichoadenoma is not a type of adenoma because there are no glands. Trichoadenomas are rare and solitary lesions histologically resembling the infundibular portion of the hair follicle and they are a type of trichoepithelioma. Trichoadenomas may be nodular or verrucous lesions arising on the faces of adults and they range in size from 3 to 15 mm in diameter. Histologically they have quite a distinctive appearance. They are symmetrical, contain horn cysts and the horn cysts are surrounded by eosinophilic cells and there is a layer of flattened granular cells that may be present between the horn cyst and the eosinophilic cells. And as in trichopitheliomas, granulomas and foreign body type giant cells may be present next to the contents of ruptured horn cysts. This is a low power view of a trichoadenoma and the symmetrical nature of the lesion can be appreciated. You can also see there are multiple horn cysts. Here is a higher power view. This is a high power view of one of the horn cysts. At the centre you can see the keratin forming the horn. Around it is a layer of flattened granular cells. And beyond this are the cells with the eosinophilic or pink staining cytoplasm. And finally, here is a collection of foreign body type giant cells adjacent to a horn cyst that has ruptured. 